the most common comment that I get from client is you look too young <laughs> what is your age uh, about my voice as well like uh, are you a baby can you give the phone to your mother <laughs> I never made it but I know My name is Bright Stakasioka. I'm 21 years old. I graduated from Masano University with a degree in political science, where I also served as a finance secretary and participated in several leadership events, and I got several awards. Uh, currently, I'm the director of Urban Swift Sartorial, where we custom make suits, African wear, anything that is tailor made. <laughs> After clearing campus, Brightstar took part in a local reality TV show and made it to top 18. After the show, however, she had an emotional breakdown. I have a, a challenge with my right hand. And of course, if you follow my story, I went to school very young. And as a teenager and a person growing up, you want to fit in. So in campus, I found myself hiding it. Finding myself in a reality show, I decided to bring it out. I was like, this is the time anyway, I can't keep on hiding who I am for a very long time. But on bringing it up, people started calling me. I didn't know your hand was like that. I didn't know your hand was like that. And so I broke down because all my fears were confirmed. And I stayed home for like about two months without getting out, crying, depressed. I'm like, no, I don't want to be that girl with one hand, you know. But her best friend Samuel Njoroge had just started out in the fashion industry and he came to her rescue. I noticed that she had gone under and I decided to look for her. That's what a good friend does. So I went and looked for her and I found out that she was depressed and she had broken down from the, from the show. So I wanted to know how exactly I would be able to help. So I told her, instead of staying in the house all this while alone, crying every day, why don't you come and join us into the business? And I'm like, no, I'm not a business person, I'm a philanthropist and I cannot even save money, I just give it out. Today she works as a director at Urban Suave Sartorial, mostly focused on marketing. He told me how to talk to clients, the fabrics, the designs. And I learned, and the first day I put an ad, I got two clients and I was very proud of myself. I'm like, so I can make money this easily. She picked up, she became one of the best salesperson I've ever met. They have so far employed nine tailors who work at the shop round the clock. In a day, we produce four suits, but on a good season, sometimes we can do even seven. The suits cost 10,000 shillings and above, depending on the design and fabric. Wedding and event clients dominate their orders. COVID-19, however, has affected their business. All the weddings were cancelled. Events, there was no event. So people at home and they are wearing t-shirts. So at some point, we had to venture and do t-shirts. Having been raised by her grandparents, the youthful woman says that seeing her grandparents happy is her greatest inspiration. They've taken care of me since I was a baby. So I know if I fail today, then they fail because they are all looking up to me. She has this message for young and aspiring entrepreneurs. There are so many no's. You will knock so many doors and you are told no. And business needs you to be very, very persistent. Brister hopes to open shops across the country to cater for her broad range of clients. Ivy Vuguza for Nation.Africa.